really wanted to thank you for your phone call regarding Alex Tilden. It was really helpful. That's good to hear. Yeah, we followed up immediately. We went to his house, but it looked like we had just missed him. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it is, because... <laughs> Quinn just sitting down. <laughs> I don't think you're staying for long, dude. What a lazy bum. What do these three people have in common? You're what they have in common. You. Why don't you just save us a lot of time and tell us what that connection is? You can keep fooling everybody in your little seminars, but I'm on to you. What the fuck? So stupid. One was just a crazy fan, one was the head of security, and the third one doesn't even have a connection to him. I'm so sorry that I put you in this position, having to lie to her like that. She's never suspected anything. I don't know, maybe Deb has a blind spot when it comes to me. But obviously it's her brother. Who suspects family member? There's a camera in the room. The baby monitor is picking up the signal. Somebody's watching us. The baby monitor is picking up the signal. <laughs> Just now, right there, in that moment, it picked up the signal. What a joke. A motorhome? A van? Yeah, maybe that big white van right in front of you? Why would you choose that van? There was another van right in front of you. It could be anywhere. That was really helpful. <laughs> Just running through the streets, panicking. I need your help on a bust. Something big. Something big enough to make him give me my job back in the police force. Your boy Dexter. What the fuck? What are you doing? I need a cop to make this bust. No. Forget it. You're gonna make this bust and I'm gonna call you. You best come running. How about you tell him what you saw and heard? What the fuck? How fucking retarded. Why would somebody from the police department bug your apartment? I don't know, but there's a serial number on the camera. I'll go in tomorrow and find out who checked it out. Oh, poor Quinn. You're gonna. <laughs> Everything keeps leading back to Jordan Chase. Where are we on the banker? Alex Tilden. No connection to Jordan that we can find. And the dentist, Mandel? He's the odd man out. He doesn't seem to have any connection to any of the other guys. Well, again, let's find that connection. So... How is John suspicious if you don't even have a connection to Dan? <laughs> so stupid. It's completely unreasonable. Case number. It's from 1982, when Quinn was in grade school eating paste. It's a fake. Mm. I don't think so. He was onto you very early. Any storage devices, video files, flash drives. Wow, this thing is ancient. Who is this guy? Quinn. What's My ancient about partner. it? Just a cat that hiccups and farts at the same time. Cute. <laughs> the fuck was that? Why did they put that in? <laughs> it's the night we dumped coal. He's been watching us for weeks. Wait, you're not going to take them with you? Tip them off that we found them? No, he'll just print more. I know who would have took all those files. Dokes. <laughs> just like he took Dexter's blood samples. He kept me completely in the dark about his whole closeted gay life. <laughs> I mean, why didn't he just tell me? Actually, Mrs. Mandel, we have information which leads us to believe your husband wasn't, in fact, gay. <laughs> he was just a rapist. <laughs> He was linked to a series of rapes. And murders. Oh my god. That's a big relief. Thank you, detectives. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring you that news. Yeah, you look sorry. But do any of these names sound familiar? Jordan Chase. Well, that's him right there. That's two-man sailing team, Dan Mandel and Eugene Greer. Jordan Chase is Eugene Greer. What the fuck? Why would she know? What the hell? <laughs> it's so fucking convenient. Eugene Greer grew up in some redneck town near Tallahassee. He had a single mom, now dead, no siblings. 
pretty nondescript childhood. Moved to Miami when he was 18, dropped about 100 pounds, changed his name to Jordan Chase. Forgot to tell his friend not to tell his wife that he was Eugene. There aren't many women like you. I know that. You're more like a guy. A guy? <laughs> oh, he's so romantic. Not only has Jordan declined our request for another interview, but he just booked a multi-city speaking deal in Europe. Sounds like he's on the run. No fucking way. Oh, it sounds like he's working. The only van that remains after 24 hours just happens to be a rental. Judging by the amount of dust, it's been sitting there close to a week. How did he not figure that out sooner? That this van is so dusty that it must have stood there for a week. Although I'm not even sure. <laughs> that a car can get extremely dusty just by standing somewhere for a week. At least not in a neighborhood like that. I got a call from Jordan Chase. He knows I talked to you. I'm going to the police. Emily, it'll just make things worse. We'll protect you. Does Emily want to kill her? For Jordan? Or is Jordan making her say this again? I mean, Jordan should actually have bigger things on his mind. Like getting the hell out of this country. I'll wait. But hurry. Please hurry. Apparently not. There he sits. Like the king of the world. That big bust I want you to make, I need you to come down here and make it now. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you gotta stop it with this shit. Oh, horse shit, nobody's stopping nothing. How's he supposed to make a bust without knowing what it's about? Who's Sonia? My nanny. Well, Sonia wants to know if you want a magician for the party. Of course you do. <laughs> now that's it. Now he took it too far. Ordering a magician? Not on Dexter's watch. I know you're thinking, I got no reason to make a full confession. So I'm gonna give you a reason. Lumen walks free. Why should I trust you? Because I don't give a shit about her. And I don't give a shit about you either. Why not? It's a double bust. <laughs> Picture in the news and television, everybody thinks I'm a goddamn hero, everybody loves me. And they have to hire me back, so I don't need your girl. Also, I doubt that's how it works. That they would... Give him his job back. Liddy! Oh, and that's it for Robocop. Go away, Quinn. Don't make this any worse. Try to open the door. Why the fuck did he lock it? The driver's side? <laughs> Wait, so the driver's side was locked, but this big door, Dex had to lock himself. <laughs> Leave a message. <laughs> Liddy, it's Quinn. You're really starting to fucking piss me off. <laughs> I guess he will discover that later, huh? Also kind of funny that Dick, uh, that Quinn's not even waiting for five minutes. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Ten meters away from the van. Your request to detain Jordan Chase as a material witness was denied. But what I don't understand is why you didn't come to me. You are the last person I think of when I need support. I have always trusted your instincts as a cop. That's just not true. <laughs> what does this say to your court order? From a different judge who owed me a favor. <sighs> Fuck me. Maybe you should have started with that. <laughs> Are you mad at me? I did exactly what you told me to do. Please, shut up. I'm just trying to- SHUT UP! It's not my fault. Of course it's your fault! How about you shut up? He asked you twice. Can't leave any witnesses. No, you said you wouldn't kill her! You <laughs> 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 She was so important to him. Can I help you? I'm looking for Jordan Chase. 
I have a court order that prevents him from leaving Miami. Well, I guess I can go home then. <laughs> Lumen was here. Multiple footprints in the blood. A scuffle. She was running. She's putting up a fight. I'm surprised he didn't yell. Lumen! Or Jordan!